to do um, a real quick video. I want to thank a few of you for your kindness and the sweet gestures you have shown to me over the last week. And I also wanted to answer one of the questions that one of you had when I asked for questions about our journey as we go about this whole cancer thing. So, thank yous first. I did not know um, that Chronic and Annie from Munching and Chatting were going to share my PayPal uh, link with their viewers, but I do appreciate it. Um, I appreciate those who reached out who wanted to just bless our family. Um, you are just amazing. Um, I do thank each and every one of you. I know it's not an easy time right now for anybody in this world, um, but thank you for taking time and resources to bless our family. With that said, I want to thank um, those who did donate to PayPal, which I appreciate so greatly again. Um, Blake and Annie M, thank you so much. Bev, Melody, um, Pam, Flo, Annie Janney, um, Shanique, and Chronic, I so appreciate um, what you have given to our family. I will tell you right now my motto is whatever my husband wants he gets and it has meant many trips to the grocery store over a week, a week period of time because while he can still eat and while food tastes so good, I want to give him things that he enjoys. And um, a lot of what you guys have given have gone to that, as well as a couple little medical things. So thank you so much for your generosity. We appreciate it very much. Um, and Nikki and Owen, thank you for the gift cards and the card and the kind words that you lent. Um, appreciate it. Our neighborhood rocks. And you guys have been just so sweet. Paula, thank you for the Starbucks card. As I told you, I'm going to save that. I want to use it for a day where I need to get just get away and um, may need to pick me up. Melody, thank you so much for the coffee syrups. As I told you, they're really one of my favorites and um, it was such a sweet gesture and such a surprise knock on the door. So thank you very, very much. And Mike and Joanne, you guys have done so much for me through the years, and um, it doesn't go unnoticed. You've blessed our family greatly. One of the questions that I was asked that I really wanted to kind of just touch base with for a few minutes was, how am I coping? And I thank you for that. <laughs> it's kind of overwhelming, to be honest, um, because people expect updates um, from from me, uh, Dull really isn't going to be the one who goes and shares a whole lot of his journey. Um, but I feel it's very important to keep our family and friends and community posted and updated. And um, it's made a difference. It's made a difference in the week we've been home from the hospital because people have reached out people I don't expect to hear from have reached out and said hey listen you know we're here for you anytime you need us and that is overwhelming very overwhelming and I'm not gonna cry in every video you guys I'm trying to hold it together <laughs> work how am I coping one work is difficult um, because I feel guilty because I am home most of the time I've been working from home when I can um, they understand completely and have been so gracious and kind, and I appreciate that. Um, I might work in the corporate world, but I work for a family and a firm, and it makes a huge difference. Um, so that has helped a whole lot. Um, I still feel I still feel guilty just because that's who I am. I like to give all of what I can to what I what I'm doing, but I'm spinning plates like crazy between taking care of him and making sure he's comfortable and happy and making sure my kids are okay and still trying to work and and be human you know I hate that our world is upside down 
But right now our world is upside down and nothing seems, some days nothing seems real. It all seems like, okay, what what's going on? I will tell you he is, he's moving around just fine. He feels just fine. Yesterday was a low day, um, energy wise and emotionally. Uh, we are still waiting on final results. So it is taxing and daunting waiting. And I think once we have those, it'll be a little bit better. So for now, I'm coping okay. I think I'm coping the best that I can possibly cope. I have an amazing support team um, and friends and family. I have people constantly reminding me, listen, you know, you got to take care of you too, which I have for the most part. I have for the most part. My main focus isn't me though, it's him. It's us. It's our family unit. That's what's most important for me. I have not put myself first in years. <laughs> years. I don't even know if I know how to do that. Um, that will be something that will come forth later, I guess. So for now, we're coping well. Um, despite the tears, they, they come and go throughout each day. Um, I did have a couple days this past week where I didn't cry at all and it was a day to celebrate and I've had days like yesterday where I had a full-blown panic attack coming out of the grocery store and leaving to go home I, I don't know where it came from and I don't know what it was about but I just know that I couldn't catch my breath and my mind wouldn't stop and I was ready to jump out of the car <laughs> not while it was moving obviously but I was just ready to jump out of the car and just kind of catch my breath um, and that was a little scary but I imagine it's normal so if you are going through a hard journey know that you're in my thoughts and prayers um, also know that lung cancer claims more lives unexpectedly when it's too late to do anything when it's too late to do anything. They say cardiac arrest and your heart problems are silent killers, but cancer is too. Cancer is too. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you for being there. I appreciate each and every one of you. This is a good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads 